What's happening? It's your math tutor, Thrash City. Here to teach your dumb how to do addition. The street. Learn with Thrash City. We for the ad! Now, personally, I'd like to thank most of y'all already know how to do this. Because I don't know first grade dropouts. But I still gotta cover it because it's in the curriculum and Anyways, you already know how to add, right? Duh. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. For sure, for sure, our mamas. Real quick though, what's seven plus four? Like a motherfucking, uh, oh, uh, damn, ham, uh, ham, sandwich, sandwich. What the? F oh, you special, special. Okay, okay. Do me a favor, real quick. Sit your little dumb down. Yeah, right there. You in the right place, player. Um, look, you done the f right now, but Whoa. you stayed at the end of the session, and I'm gonna be proud of you. Not only that, you gonna be proud of me. And your dumb f gonna learn how to add. Dang. Let's get it on it. Pop. Learning objectives. What it look like. What it do. What's really good with it. And practical application. Now I'm sure most of you may be thinking, but Thrash City, this adding shit, is it truly a necessity to know this? I mean like FR, FR, would we be using this IRL? You know that's a good question. You smart. You very smart. Let me break it down to you like this. You go to 7-Eleven, get you a $1 bag of Hot Cheetos, a 150 can of Arizona Grape Aid. It is imperative for you to know that those two collectively is gonna cost you 250. There's no way around it. So when you ask me, oh, Thrash City, are you gonna use this IRL? My answer to you is real talk on the scale from one to 100. That is 100. What it look like? That's what it looked like. What it do? What addition do? It's easy, my Nikki. On everything I love, it's easy. On God, this is easy. Look, additions when you take two different things, put them together. It's easy as fuck, right? I told you. See, look, this is what I want you to get in your head every time you see addition, right? You take one thing, you take another thing, and you. You John Ha! Put the mother together. Simple. Of course you can do it for numbers. Okay, you got eight plus three, seven plus one, whatever, whatever. But you could also do it for shit like meat sauce plus spaghetti. Me plus your mom. Me plus your mama and your grandma. Seven plus a black with the llama clip. Now that's algebra. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, my dude. Chill. You're gonna learn about that in a future session. But what I'm trying to convey to you is math is unlimited. What's well, really good with it? Now let's get into this. As I said, this is easy, right? The two things that you add together are called the addings. You put them together and like me, you always gonna get some, right? The whole objective behind adding is to get you some. Everybody's trying to get some, right? So I'm gonna go through multiple different ways of how you could get some. I'm gonna break down why most of you suck but best of all, I'm gonna give you my best tip and my best advice on which one I use all the time. But wait, hold up. All right, let's change our swag up a little bit. See, first I gotta, oh yeah, let me get this. Yeah, 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 and then uh, change that shirt, yeah. Born dead. The first method of addition. See, this method is to this shit. The first method we gonna use is called the numerical slash the object style of adding. Right, so let's take our same example that we already had. All right, no confusion popping off here. We got seven plus four, right? So if we take that and then we apply an object to each number, so you can use oranges, apples, 
Jordans, whatever the f you got. You got seven of them, you can use it. But in this case, we're gonna use dots. You feel me? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one, two, three, four. Then all you do to get you some, because everybody's trying to get some, right? Right? You feel me? Bam. In order to get you some, you just count up all the dots. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Easy as on everything I love. You get eleven. Bam, every time. Now I'm gonna tell you why this suck. The reason why this suck is because when you get IRL and you have to add bigger numbers, for this for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna just, just hear me out. We just gonna add a zero to the end of this, right? So we're gonna add a zero to the end of this, so it's gonna be 70 plus 40, right? Then all you gotta do is 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 put 70 dots and 40 dots, right? Cool, let's do it. This shit sucks. Okay, cool. Hold up. Equals. All right, we got 70 dots here and we got 30 dots here. Just imagine if you needed apples for that shit. Okay, all right. So, so then you add all the dots together. I'm not doing this shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is why you don't do this, all right? This is a method. It's outdated. It's, 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 we don't use it, all right? I know the answer, you just gotta add a zero, you add a zero to that, you add a zero to that, you just gotta add a zero to that. That's gonna be the answer, all right? <laughs> Next method of addition, all right? <laughs> the first one, that was bullshit. We got another method, we gonna use the same numbers. Okay, you know the answer, but this is just to get the gist of it, you feel me? This is so that you get the methodology behind this shit. So we gonna take seven plus four again, right? But we gonna use the graph method, right? In order for us to do this, we gotta go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And then two, three, four. Now what you're doing here is you're pretty much doing pre-addition, right? You're setting up addition in a way that you can see it predetermined before you even start the shit. So you got one, now you got two plus two, Two plus three, motherfucking five. Two plus four, six. Right. So that's that's pretty much the the gist of what you're doing. Right. It it don't make no sense really. So if you got two plus seven, it's gonna be nine. So you made like a graph so that you could see it on your graph. If you forgot how to add, you pull it out. You know your little your adding graph table. Let me check my Palm Pilot. <laughs> Which we making right now, then you know what I'm saying I'm gonna skip the bullshit. We ain't doing all this, and then we gonna get 11, right? Now I'm gonna tell you why this shit suck. Because you ain't gonna be at the motherfucking the uh, 7 11 having to add, and then oh yeah, hold up, let me make sure that your calculator on your cash register is correct. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna do all that shit. So this method too, man, fuck this method, fuck this whole shit right here. Next method of adding, all right? We getting down to the wire, you know, there's only a few more left. It is bullshit, right? This is called the number line method of adding, right? You gotta start at zero, right? Make a bitch line, right? And you got a number one, two, three, four. We got four right there, and then we got motherfucking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven there, right? So what you do with this is this isn't negative, they're, they're all positive, both ways. They both, they both positive somehow. So you gotta go count them starting right here. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. But you don't count the zero though. I fucked up, that's what, the 11, there you go. That's what it is. You skip the zero, cause zero ain't right? And then you get equals 11. Now I'm gonna tell you why this suck. All right, so say for example, we have, as I said earlier, 70, and 40, right? And we made a whole number line. Then I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be. No. Exactly, right? Ain't nobody got no time for that. So um, that's the number line method. This is how you do it. This is why it sucks. Let's finish this. Final method of addition.
right? It's called the column method. You could either do it side by side or you can do it my personal favorite way, which is racks on stacks on flapjacks, you feel me? So this is what it looks like. Seven plus four, same right? Equals 11. All right, now that's the side by side method. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite method. We got us a seven, four, plus low line joint, you know what I'm saying? And then you get 11 right here. Now it looks a little different right here compared to right here, but I'll show you why it's a lot better to do racks on stacks on flat jacks. We all love stacks, we all love racks, and of course we all love flat jacks. So say for example, we were to take seven, three, right? When you get in the multi-digit addition, that's when this, this method really shines, you feel me? Take a four, let's say eight, right? Add them together, bam! So now we're into some other methodology, some other stuff that you can't, you gotta, you gotta add the three plus the eight right above each other, right? That makes 11. So you gotta take a one, bam, right? What happens to the tens? The tens place of the one. You got the ones place of the one is just the one, and you got the tens place of the one's gonna be like right here. It's gonna be like, you know, extra. Your, your cup floweth over, you feel me? Right, so then you add all of these, it's the tens plus. We got a one, seven, and a four. One plus seven, eight plus four, 12. So you go 12 in that piece. Now, if you were to try to do this for the for the other method, it just look all jacked up. Like it just doesn't look right. So this is our answer right here, right? But if we try to do it over here, seven, three, plus four, eight equals, you don't have the little line at the bottom, so you can't, you know what I'm saying? You want to do this joint, and then like, you're like, oh shit, and like, bam. But then you gotta carry the one, and you're like, you're like right there, and then you have to like do that right there. And then you be making like weird lines and it looks like hills and no, just don't do it. Just don't do it like that. Final learning objective, practical application. <laughs> Easy, it's a field study though, check it out. Go to 7-Eleven, get you a couple items, you feel me, add up how much they gonna cost in your head. So when you get to the cash register, you see how much, uh, uh, how close you are. If you spot on, bro, you onto something. You, you learn it and I'm proud of you, you know what I'm saying? That's the, Put what you got in the comment section below. That's it. You did it. You made it to the intercession. You just got knowledge and I'm proud of you. I see you leveling up. Yeah, okay. Do your dance, do your dance. Do your dance, do your dance, do your dance, do your stop. Anyways. You got homework. Don't even trip though. It's the easiest homework you've ever had. All you gotta do is BAM! And if you haven't already, and, and for extra credit, share this video with one of your dumb friends that don't know how to add. Hit up www.thethrashcity.com forward slash donate to support future sessions in thethrashcity.com forward slash meet with Thrash City to have one-on-one -on -one video or audio chats with your boy. I'm, I'm looking out for you. Ever forget how to add, hit me up. Or, you know what I'm saying, your mom's single again, whatever, hit me up. Anything, we can talk about whatever the hell you want. You know what I'm saying, I could be your life coach. Get you some born dead apparel. Links in the description. Upon checkout, use the code the Thrash City. You boys gonna save you a couple bucks, you feel me? No big deal, you know what I'm saying? I'm just looking out for y'all, you feel me? Anyways, stay up, I'm proud of you, and keep grinding. I'ma see y'all next session. Oh, we were talking about some duh, ham sandwich. That's why I'm doing this shit in the first place. Stainless, Stainless skill, skill beats. beats.